year after Russia invaded Ukraine, the war is widening the gap between the world's biggest economies. It is also putting fragile economic recoveries at risk by disrupting food and energy supply chains and taking attention away from plans to fight poverty and get poor countries out of debt. These cracks were clear last week when the top economic policymakers from the group of 20 countries met for two days at a resort in Bengaluru, a city in southern India. Even though they tried to show unity, rising tensions over Russia overshadowed their efforts. During the summit, the West threw a lot of new sanctions at Moscow and announced more economic help for Ukraine. However, developing countries like India, which has been getting cheap oil from Russia, didn't say anything bad about the West. Officials had a hard time putting together the traditional joint statement, or communique, on Saturday, because of the different points of view. This meant that senior representatives from the group of seven nations, which has the most advanced economies in the world, had to try to convince their less supportive counterparts that protecting Ukraine was worth the cost.